Hello friends. In this video, we will work on a scenario where uh, we want a different set of data in different tabs in one single Excel output file in Alteryx. Let's begin. So I have already pointed uh, this input file to one sample file and I have done some data preparation here. Then So uh, in this data, we have a country field here. So what we want in this filter, we will say uh, for country USA, we want in one tab and for rest other countries, we want in a different tab. So we'll select the country here. We'll say contains USA. And now for output, we need to output. So this will uh, take uh, wherever uh, the country field contains USA and the rest of the will come here in different tab. So now we will point this to the output folder. So we already have one. So we have to delete this file. So now when we are saving, we'll say yes and we'll name the sheet as USA. And for this file name, once again, the file name should be same uh, for both the output. We'll say save. Again, we'll say replace and let's call it others. Another important thing, we have to change this output option to override sheet or range for both the files, both the output. And now, we have to delete the existing one. So it says it is open. So let's close it. Sorry about that. Now let's run the output uh, um, our workflow and see what we are getting. So we are getting an error. So this error is, let's look at this error. This is unable to open file for write. So what happens is, if it is running uh, both the output at a time, so for one output it will get an error, we will get an error. So let's see what what is the output that we got? So we got the output for others only. And the country we should get, except USA, we should get all the other countries. So let's search if we have USA anywhere. No. So we'll close this and we'll delete this file so that we can run again. So what we need to do to uh, handle this situation is developer tab, we have uh, one tool called block until done. So it will run one uh, workflow at a time, one output or uh, action uh, instance at one time. So we'll enter here and uh, so if we are, if we are inserting this uh, uh, particular tool, uh, after this uh, filter, then we will need uh, two uh, block until done uh, tool here as well. And we have to delete this connection. And we have to give a connection from here. And 
here so this is one way let's run it we got the output it ran successfully so now we see one USA and one is others in USA all the countries that contain USA Canada and USA and US dot okay and in others we already checked uh, in the last uh, uh, run that it did not contain USA so we'll close it once again we'll delete it and we'll check the other uh, scenario so the other scenario that we will check is we will put this uh, uh, block until uh, tool before the uh, filter so in that uh, scenario we will need two uh, filter tool so we'll delete this one then we have to enter one, another filter tool and this for this filter we have to say country that does not contain USA So now let's run the workflow once again. It ran successfully and here we have the output now. Same result. All the country field that contains USA appeared here and country that country field that doesn't contain USA in the other step so that's it for this video friends thanks for watching